This is a total body hit workout from Top of the Hill Fitness, and today we have artwork by Bradley Harms. My name is Shane, and I'll be going through a warm up, four rounds of hit, and a cool down with you. To get started, let's get right into it with some boxer shuffle for 30 seconds. And begin. Nice and loose with the arms. Make sure you're relaxing your jaw, your neck, and your shoulders. We're going to do some squats next in five seconds. Okay, nice slow motion on the squat all the way down. Get the hips down as far as you can, hopefully at least below the knees or to the knees. And I'm pulling back with my shoulder blades as I rise up and pushing forward with my hands. Next, we're going to be doing a skater motion, stepping from side to side, no jumping. Okay, side to side, really work on that range of motion. Get your hand down to your toes if you can. Get the back foot sweeping behind you into a curtsy lunge kind of position. Next, we're going to do standing toe touches in three seconds. Nice controlled motion with the standing toe touch. Don't be kicking high up in the air and letting your legs swing at all. Bringing the opposite hand down to the opposite toe. Bit of a crunch at the top as you lean forward and initiate activity in your abs there. Okay, next we're gonna do Sunflower, one of my favorites. Okay, arms up overhead, big open sunflower face, leaning off to the side, down around, up the other side. When you're back at the top, start in the other direction and maintain that circle with your arms above your head the whole way around. That way you get a nice side body stretch. Okay, free form, freestyle jacks coming up next. So front jack, side jack, split jack, whatever kind of jack you want. Ooh, crossover jack, fancy. Split jack, goofy. Okay, we're gonna go back to a boxer shuffle for the last 30 seconds of our warm up in three seconds. Okay, think about light on your feet here. Our first round of hit is gonna have some quick feet action. So start visualizing, moving fast. Thirty second rest before we get going into round one of the hit. It's going to be a pyramid style, so exercise A, then B, then C, then B, then A. Going up in 20, 30, 40, then down in 30, 20, with 10 seconds rest in between. Okay, getting ready. Our first one is going to be high knees. Want the ball of the foot barely touching the ground, knees driving up at least to hip height. Going in three seconds. Get going. That's it, don't forget the arms, pump the arms, relax the shoulders, but be moving the arms quick as well. Good job, okay, next is gonna be power knee, left leg. So on balancing on the right knee and then driving that left leg back and forward. 
again, using the arms to be driving the legs. Let's go, go, go. That's halfway, keep going. Five seconds to go. Okay, 10 second rest and then pop squat. So squat out and then pop up, a little jump in the middle, a little hop in the middle. Ready, go. Sink low with the squat. When you pop up, get the chest right up high and quick in and out with the feet. Halfway, keep going. Ten seconds to go. Good job. Okay, power knee on the right leg. So balancing, planting the left leg and driving that right knee as fast as you can. Go. That's halfway, keep it going. Good steady pace, quick, quick, quick. Good job, okay, one more high knees before we get a break. 20 seconds only, so drive those knees. Let's go, 10 seconds to go, halfway, keep it going. Five to go. Get those knees higher than me, come on. Okay, 50 second break before we move into round two. So it's gonna be the same format, pyramid format. Exercise A, then B, then C, then back to B, then A. 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, 20 seconds with a 10 second rest in between. Take a quick water break right now if you want, starting again in just under 30 seconds. This next round is gonna have an upper body focus. We are gonna start with some push-up burpees with no jump. So down into a push-up position, push up and then bring yourself back up to a stand. Get going. Five seconds to go. Let's get one more push up in there. Up. Okay, 10 second rest, then high plank shoulder tap. So in a high plank position, using right hand to tap your left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder. Begin. Halfway, good job, keep going. Quick tempo all the way through, five seconds to go. Okay, up for an inchworm. So stand with your legs a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, depending on what your hamstring flexibility is like. Lower yourself down, begin. Into a push-up position with a push-up at the bottom and then walk yourself back up. Try to initiate the walkout with different hands when you start the walkout each time. Ten seconds to go. Let's go one more round in there. Oh, 
Okay, up again for high plank shoulder tap. Remember, maintain a good plank position here. Straight line through your ankle, hip, and shoulder. Begin. And keep it going with some pace, quick. Left hand, right shoulder, right hand, left shoulder. Halfway through. Five seconds to go. Okay, 10 second break, and then we'll do the burpee with a push up at the bottom. No jumping. If you want to do jumping, absolutely go for it. That's halfway already. Keep it going. Okay, time. Another 50 second break. Halfway through the hit so far. Good job. We got round three coming up. Three of four. Take a quick water break here if you like. Towel yourself off a bit. All right, let's get ready for round three of the hits. This one is going to uh, be a love handle remediation round, let's call it. I'm gonna start with a mountain climber with twist. So mountain climber position, then drive the knee to the opposite elbow. Begin. Okay, left knee, right elbow, right knee, left elbow. Switching over, quick, quick, quick. Halfway through, keep it going. Okay, stay on your mat. We're gonna do a side plank dip on the right side. So dip those hips down and then bring them all the way back up. Really focus on not making a crescent shape with your body forward, but keeping a nice side plank position at the top there. Ten more seconds, keep going. Okay, onto your back, bent knees, heels up towards your butt. We're gonna do heel taps, side to side. So right hand, right heel, left hand, left heel, quick, back and forth. Maintaining that elevated crunch position the whole time, shoulders are off the floor. Good job, 10 seconds to go. Keep going, quick pace. Okay, side plank dip on the left side now. So elbow underneath the shoulder. Raise those hips up. If you wanna put your bottom leg knee down for a slightly easier version, you can do that. Raise the hips up and squeeze at the top. Five seconds to go, keep it going. Okay, 10 second break and we're gonna to go to the mountain climber with a twist again. Remember driving the right knee towards the left elbow, left knee towards the right elbow. And begin. Just 10 more seconds to go. Let's go. Good, quick pace.
Okay, time. Good job. Okay, just one more round of hit. Take another 50 second break here. Maybe box or shuffle a little bit. Jog in place if you like. Or take a water break. Okay, 15 more seconds and we'll get into the last round of hit. Same style, pyramid, going up and down. We're going to start with butt kickers. This is again quick foot motion, ball of feet barely on the ground. And begin. Don't forget to keep your shoulders loose. Run the arms. Five seconds to go. Good job. Now we're going to do skater side to side with a jump from side to side. Keep the pace moving as fast as you can on these and jump as far as you can and dip as low as you can. Okay, that's halfway. Keep it going. 10 seconds to go. Good job. Okay, the next one is a fun one. Squat with four punches across the body at the top. And alternate which arm you start the punches with. Good job, that's halfway, keep it going. Nice sharp punches at the top. Dip nice and low with the squat. 10 seconds to go. Okay, well done. Yes, finish that last punch. Uh, now skaters again, remember, Get your hips as low as you can and jump as far as you can. Okay, keep it going. This is your last bit of hit before we start the cool down. So let's make it count. Ten seconds to go. Keep it moving. Keep it steady. Okay, getting ready for our last 20 second burst here. Butt kickers, making good. And begin. Okay, five seconds to go, 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 all the way through. Good job, that was some hard work. I am bent over and sweating. Okay, let's get into our warm down. Take a quick break here if you want. If you wanna just walk around the room a bit, towel off, grab some water. A little boxer shuffle before we start some stretching. Gonna start with a quad stretch, standing quad stretch. We're gonna do stretches for about 30 seconds each. So beginning with the right quad, Try to do it without holding on to anything. It's really great for the little muscles in your feet and ankles to work on your balance. And to talk about the art a little bit on the wall, it's a painting by Bradley Harms. Here's a better image of it. Brad's work is so interesting because the surfaces are so cool. This painting, actually, the, the black area is more like a screen on top of the abstract painting below. There's something kind of fun and ironic about the way that he's making these works because they're referencing digital art making tools like masks that you would use in Photoshop or Adobe products. 
but they're completely hand painted. It's kind of, um, the irony, I suppose, is that the rat is using a completely analog object to talk about our digital world. And the screen kind of creates these portals through which we're looking at the painting, not unlike the way in which we interact with so much in today's technological society, where we're going through a portal, getting some sort of sense of an incredibly complex system underneath. Anyway, back to the stretching. Hope you've been following along. Okay, after this, we're going to move into a low lunge position. I could use a towel, please. Thank you. Okay, lunge position, left knee down, right leg forward. And when I'm in this position, I like to draw up my left arm as if I'm pulling a piece of string up from the ground and then lean over towards the right side. A nice side body stretch, as well as the front of your left body as well. And switch it to the other side. Don't push your knee too far over your ankle either. You can see my knee is pretty much right above my foot. It's kind of where you want to be so you're not straining too much there, but still getting a good stretch on the right quad and the front of the right hip. Okay, now we're gonna do a figure four stretch on the ground. I'm gonna cross over my right leg over my left knee and then kind of sink it down. There's a few different ways to do the stretch. I like this because it uses your body weight and you can kind of shift your hips around a little bit to move, uh, to stretch different areas of that glute, different sides of the glute. Okay, switch it up, other side, left ankle over right knee. And really left, let that left knee fold open as much as you can. Okay, for the last stretch, I like to do a mountain pose. So arms up over my head, and then a slow forward fold. And then once at the bottom, I like to rise up with a flat back to about a halfway lift. And then let my shoulders roll forward. Let the top of my head go down towards the ground. And then roll up from that position, bit by bit, until you're at the top. Feeling good. Thank you very much for working out with me today. Good job, everybody. That was uh, short and sweet and tough. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Comment on the video if you would like to see something different, something more, more of this, less of that. And please, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. The video that I'm adding here and the link below would be a great little add-on to this workout. Seven minute core and lower back stability. Okay, see you again.